so today guys i'm gonna rebuild the respot cell it's already disassembled and we're gonna reassemble it back here's the tools what we need today here's the tool what we need uh 716 open wrench uh, plus a screwdriver ratchet 716 and a plier and an oil here are the respot cells you got the finger the frame and everything in there the bolts and the little spring right there so let's get started so first thing you take this one and this one so we know that this one is for the carb link the carb link will uh, put in here and to the frame so you go this way see like that and get this put in the other hole like that and spring this little tiny spring there's a hole in there let's put inside let's see there you go i got it inside click and the top part goes in here See that? So when you're putting this, you have to shake it like that. Make sure it's it's playing like that. If it's too tight, then you have a problem with that. It's supposed to be like this. It can play. So put on the screw right here. And there's a little screw again. Two. Then tighten it with a screwdriver right here. There you go. It's done. Now we have to check the condition of the fingers. The way to check this is this one. Put it here, make sure if you pick, if it's straight like that, then it is fine. Let's check the other one. It is fine. So we'll check the other finger. I'm gonna tell you which, I think this one is bad. We will see why it's bad. See that? You can see a, a little bent. Right there, when you place it, you see a gap to the to the board. See, it's bent. So this one is no good. So next, put the base, put a little all here. There you go. That's too much. Oil. And the finger. A little oil again put the next the washer a little oil again then the finger just to be like that and another washer and another washer and you can clip it to the X washer So we got the finger in already on the frame. Now we're gonna take this. Okay, before you installing this, make sure to place it stand up here and make sure if it's straight. If it's bent, then it's no good. Just toss it away. This one is good, looks straight. Then put the pivot pin here 
and take this and goes inside the pin. It's doing one hand. Now we can put the X washer right here. Flip it. Now the next thing is the bolt. This uh there's this uh long bolt and short bolt. See the difference? This is longer one, it's shorter one. So the longer one, if you're facing the wrist spot like this, goes to your right. And the short one goes to your left. And this one goes in here. Okay, I'm doing it one hand because I'm holding the cell phone. There you go. And put the nut. Same on the other side. So I got it in the other side. Put the nut. Just doing it one hand because I'm holding the phone. There you go. And let me tighten this one. Let me tighten this one with this tool, 716. You tighten it from there. And bring it one hand. And you, and you tighten it. The wrench goes right here. Let me tighten it. So I'm done rebuilding it, just to be like that, and you will check with the gauge. Hold on. I'm sorry, I cannot find the gauge. Maybe John used it again and didn't put it back where it used to be. Sometimes you use uh, put uh, somewhere else, so it's good. Or you can just uh, do it with your hand or get a pin and doing like that. Make sure it's grip the head. So this is good. Now I have a rebuild respot cell.